All right, so I just wanted to jump up real quick and talk about some work that has happened at um, the past two hackathons, which is really, really awesome. Uh, it's uh, the command line interface tools that we're building in Mesos. So Mesos didn't have any command line interface tools, but it has a whole bunch of REST endpoints where you can get a whole bunch of interesting information. Um, so we thought, hey, it'd be fun to actually build some, some command line tools. So some guys came, came to the Mesosphere offices and did a hackathon a couple weeks ago. And I'm going to show you the results of some of that stuff. So basically, nowadays, um, if you were to check out Mesos, uh, build it, and I think even in the 0.14.2 release, most of these tools are there as well. Um, now there's a, a command called Mesos. Um, and uh, basically, it kind of works like Git, where it has subcommands. Um, and so there's a couple subcommands here. Um, and you can use it to do stuff. So um, one of the CLI commands we had was ps. So um, if we jump to, this is an actual Mesos uh, uh, test master we have running here at Twitter. So we can do ps. And um, this just basically lists all the processes that are running on, our, uh, uh, on one of the test clusters we have here. Um, so it's pretty cool. Uh, it's, uh, uh, it pulls down the current mem, um, the CPU time that the process has used, and the CPU uh, resources um, that have been allocated to it. Um, so if we find one, uh, let's go with, say, this slave for fun. Uh, and we jump back here. You can look for this slave. All right, um, so it's running this framework. I'm just going to copy this framework ID because I'm going to use it in just a second. And it's running some tasks. Oh, that one's finished. Let's find one that's not finished. All right, so here's, here's one that's running. So there's also Mesos. Uh, cat. Oh, I should have copied that. Let's do this. And then we can say the framework. We can say the task. Oops. Computers are hard. Okay, and then we can say the file. Um, like standard out, and it's just cats what's in the file. Um, you know, this is you could have gotten to this stuff by clicking here. Um, I suppose task.json might be a more interesting file. Um, and then the last one I wanted to mention is uh, there's tail too. So this will just keep it open so you can get. Uh, all that's being written to standard out and standard to any, any of the files that's basically in, in the sandbox. So um, we're adding more every day. Um, there's, there's an execute, which lets you execute an arbitrary shell command uh, in the cluster. Um, and we'd love to add more. Uh, another thing that this is great at is this provides great documentation to our otherwise undocumented REST endpoints, because um, it uses them. Uh, there are actually. Uh, there are, if you go to any Mesos thing and you go to slash help, it does actually tell you the REST endpoints that exist. And um, you, know, you can click them. And uh, some of them actually do have pretty good help. Um, this is like the man for Mesos is directly in, in the, the web UI itself. Uh, but unfortunately, some of them also don't have such great help. So, um, uh, but some of them do. Uh, but a bunch of them that didn't have great help are now better documented in these CLI tools. Anyway, uh, big thanks to the guys at Game of the Hackathon and work on this, especially uh, Shingo and Du um, from Ericsson Labs, and I forget where Shingo's from. I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, CLI tools, thanks for listening. So.